Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ruby K, and I will be reading Let My People Go. And God called Moses from the burning bush. He called in a still, small voice, and he said, Moses, Moses. And Moses listened, and he answered and said, Lord, here I am. And the voice in the bush said, Moses, draw not now. Take off your shoes, for you're standing on holy ground. And Moses stopped where he stood, and Moses took off his shoes. And Moses looked at the burning bush, and he heard the voice, but he saw no man. Then God spoke to Moses, and he said in a voice of thunder, I am the Lord Almighty. I am the God of thy fathers. I am the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob. And Moses hid his face. And God said to Moses, I've seen the awful suffering of my people down in Egypt. I've watched their hard oppressors, their overseers and drivers. The groans of my people fill my ears and I can stand it no longer. So I come down to deliver them out of the land of Egypt. And I will bring them out of the land into the land of Canaan. Therefore, Moses, go down. Go down into Egypt and tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. And Moses said, Lord, who am I to speak before Pharaoh? For Lord, you know I am slow of tongue. But God said, I will be that mouth, and I will be that tongue. Therefore, Moses, go down. Go down yonder into Egypt's land, and tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. And Moses, with his rod in hand, went down and said to Pharaoh, Thus say the Lord of Israel, let my people go. And Pharaoh looked at Moses and stood still and looked at Moses. And then he said to Moses, who is this Lord? I know all gods of Egypt, but I know no God of Israel. So go back, Moses, and tell your God, I will not let this people go. Paul, Pharaoh, he knew all the knowledge of Egypt, yet he never knew. He never knew. The one and the living God. Paul Pharaoh, he got all the power in Egypt. And he's going to try to test the strength with might of the great Jehovah. With the might of the Lord God of hosts, the Lord mighty in battle. And God, sitting high up in, sitting high up in his heaven, laughed at Paul Pharaoh. And Pharaoh called the overseers. And Pharaoh called the drivers, and he said, Put heavier burdens still on the backs of the Hebrew children. Then the people chose with Moses, and they cried out, Look here, Moses, you've been to Pharaoh, but look and see what Pharaoh has done to us now. And Moses was troubled and mad. But God said, Go again, Moses, you and your brother Aaron, and say once more to Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord of the Hebrews, let my people go. And Moses and Aaron, with rods in hand, worked many signs and wonders. But Pharaoh called his magic men, and they worked wonders too. So Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not, no, he would not let God's people go. And God rained down plagues on Egypt, plagues of frogs and lice and locusts, plagues of blood and boils and darkness, and other plagues besides. And every time God moved the play on, old Pharaoh's heart was hard. And he would not, no, he would not let those people go. And Moses was still troubled in mind. Then the Lord said, listen, Moses, the God of Israel will not be mocked. Just more witness of my power I'll give to that hard-hearted Pharaoh. And this very night, about midnight, I'll pass over the Egypt land. And my righteous wrath will I pass over and smite their firstborn dead. All right. And God that night passed over, and a cry went up in Egypt. And Pharaoh rose in the middle of the night and sent in a hurry for Moses and said, Go forth among the, uh, my people, and you and all the Hebrew children, take your goods, take your flock, and get away from the land of Egypt. And then, right. Moses led them out, 
with all their goods and all their flock. And God went on before, a guiding pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And they journeyed on in the wilderness and came down to the Red Sea. In the morning, oh, in the morning, they missed the Hebrew children. 400 years, 400 years they held them down in Egypt land. They held them under the driver's lash. They worked without money and without price. And it might have been the Pharaoh's wife that said, look what you've done. You let those Hebrew children go, and who's going to serve us now? <laughs> who's going to make our bricks and our motor? Who's going to plant our corn? Who's going to get up in the chill in the morning? And who's going to work in the blazing sun? Tell me that, Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. And the Pharaoh called his generals, and the generals called the captains, and the captains called the soldiers, and they hitched up all the chariots, 600 chosen chariots of war, and 2,400 horses. And the chariots all were full of men, with swords and shields and shiny spears and battle bows and arrows. I did it. And Pharaoh and his army, oh, excuse me, pursued the Hebrew children to the edge of the Red Sea. Now the children of Israel look back, saw Pharaoh's army coming, and the rumble of the chariots life was like a thunderstorm, and the whirling of the wheels was like a rushing wind, and the dust from the horses made clouds that darkened the day, and the glitter of the spear was like lightning and night. And the children of Israel were all lost in faith. The children of Israel lost hope, Deep red sea in front of them, and Pharaoh's host behind. And they mumbled and grumbled among themselves, were there graves in Egypt? And they wailed aloud to Moses and said, Slavery in Egypt was better than any to die here in the wilderness. And when Moses said, Stand still. That's right. Stand still mm -hmm. and see the Lord's salvation. Amen. Mm -hmm. For the Lord God of Israel will not forsake his people. That's right. right. The Lord will break the chariots. He will break the horsemen. He'll break the Egypt swords and shields, the battle bows, and all his arrows. Yeah. This day he'll make that proud Pharaoh know who the God of Israel is. Yes. Yes. And Moses and Moses lifted up his rod over the sea, and God, with a blast of his nostrils, blew the waters apart, and the waves rolled back and stood up in a path. That's right. And left a path through the middle of the sea of the sea dry as land of the desert. And the children of Israel crossed over on the other side. When Pharaoh saw them cross the dry, he, dread, he dashed on in behind them. Oh, Pharaoh got about halfway across. He got him last the water. And the waves rushed back together. Pharaoh and all his army got lost and all the host got drowned. And Moses sang and Miriam danced. And all the people shouted for joy. Nice. And God led the Hebrew children till they reached the promised land. Nice. Listen, listen, all you sons of Pharaoh, who do you think can hold God's people when the Lord God himself said, let my people go? Amen. Amen. Amen.